Plains Saturday. Welcome back, guys. FMS was kind enough to send us their brand new 1500 millimeter mole. And the thing that sold me on this really was the color. The second I seen them release this, I reached out. I said I had to have it, and they sent it to me. So I'm going to give it a, a nice little review. This thing is 300 bucks plug and play. It comes with the big Tundra tires. It also comes with the float set. It has a 40 amp ESC. We can run either a 3S or a 4S pack on it. I flew it yesterday with wheels. 3S is very nimble. It still has plenty of power, but on 4S, this thing is actually incredible. And the prop isn't that big. I think it's an 11 by seven. So I was pretty surprised with how powerful this thing actually was. Uh, the battery goes right up front. CG is pushed all the way back. I'm running a 3000 milliamp 3S, and uh, we're gonna put it in. We're gonna give you guys a, a nice feel of what this plane is capable of. I have the reflex system set up and I have it set to a switch. Now, Reflex is FMS's gyro, and here I am not using the right connector, but we're gonna make it work anyway. EC3 to XT60. So the Reflex version three is FMS's gyro, and it works really well. So if you're a beginner and you, know, you never flew something and you're nervous of a plane this size, if you have the Reflex system in, it's self-leveling. If you're a pro, you just hit a button and shut it off, or you can pull it out completely. But I have it set up with that, so I'm going to show you guys. Now, this is a licensed replica, so if you notice, we have the lights on the plane. It also has full functioning flaps. I set them up the way I like flying, uh, with a little mix to the elevator. So I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture on the phone, on the I'll put a picture on the computer of exactly how I have that set up. All right, so we're going to take off with reflex on. There we go, now we're in. Let's taxi it around for a minute. You know, it has that rudder on the float, so it's really easy to steer in the water. Look at how beautiful that thing is. All right, let's get it in the air. I'm going no flaps on takeoff. And it's up. So like I said, reflex is on. Now my hands are completely off. I might need a little up trim. Other than that, guys, look, you're nervous about flying a plane. It self levels. So you get nervous, you let go, and it flies itself. Let's bring it in here. Do a nice slow. I'm going to bring 50% flaps. We got a nice little headwind, so I can slow it down. Like I said, on 3S, it's pretty nimble. On 4S, it's a monster. Now let's go full throttle. This is full throttle right here. And I'm shutting say uh, reflex off. If you never flown with floats, it does fly a little different. The floats are, you know, adds a little bit of weight. Decent roll. You're not gonna get a stunt plane vibe out of it. She does climb on 3S. And it recovers out of anything. So you really don't have to worry about stalling. You don't have to worry about doing crazy maneuvers where the thing's just gonna spiral down into the ground. I'm gonna do a nice touch and go right in front of us. Look how scale it is. Power's off. Touch, power on. knife edge with floats. Now it's just an incredible flying plane. Let's keep it inverted. So if you want to do some not so scale flying, it's fully capable of doing that. But that's definitely not what they made this plane for. All right, we're coming back. I'm putting reflex back on. Just so you get a feel of it. We got a nice little nice little wind blowing right now. This plane would probably land itself. And on that note, let's see how it does on a land. No flaps. We're going back up. 
Now with full flaps on this plane, they say it's a STOL plane. STOL stands for short takeoff and landing. Let's test that out. I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna go half flap for this landing. Nice and smooth. All right, I'm gonna bring it close to us. We're gonna go full flap. I'm just gonna punch the throttle, punch the elevator and see how fast it gets up. So that's half flap. Now we are full flap. Check the flaps, you ready? What was that? Six feet, if that? All right, we got a minute on the clock. We're gonna bring it in. Let's go half flaps. For some reason, I love landing with half flaps on this plane. I think it just slows it down the perfect amount. Ooh, smooth. All right, let's throw that 4S in. Let me show you guys what it could do. SMC, high voltage 4S pack, 2,800 milliamp. Again, I think this plane's calling for a little bit smaller of a battery, but I'm not having any problems with the CG. So, you know, the bigger pack, the better for flight time. Especially on a plane like this where you're not doing crazy stunts, you know, the weight's really not gonna affect the maneuverability. And as always, guys, if you're interested in this plane, I'm going to leave the link to it below. If you guys purchase it through my link, it, of course, helps my channel. I have a discount code for you guys. Garage RC is going to get you some money off. Make sure you add that at checkout. But let's go 4S. Here it is. Going right up into a vertical. And she will climb forever. We're going to go rudder over. Plenty of rudder control. I'm gonna come down a little bit. I'm gonna go full speed, nice low, right past us. And power's on. Four S is a powerhouse. I'm so surprised with the 11 by seven prop that it's getting this much power. Normally I change the props on my planes. It's usually one size bigger because from the factory it just doesn't do it, but this is pretty incredible. Louder, more powerful. Nice big loop. But at the same time, if you're like, you know, I kind of like flying it slower, you lower that throttle, you're gonna get plenty of slow flight. I'm into the wind, power's off. I'm gonna bring it around. This time, let's go full flaps, see how much we can really slow it down. Full flaps all on. Like I said, I'm really not worried about stalling this plane. It kind of, it has such good flight characteristics. Now that is a flight envelope. Flaps are coming off, we're punching it. Rudder over. Let's see how low I could go. Let's touch that tail on the water. Definitely not scale flying, but it's capable. It does whatever you want it to do. And I like flying these high wings, especially when there's no wind. They're so calm, so relaxed. They're so forgiving. So if this is your first plane, or it's just an addition to the collection because you want something with floats, or you just love the color of it like I did, definitely check it out. This thing really will fly on limited vertical with an 11 by seven prop, which is insane. Let's do a nice touch and go right in front of us. 
We're gonna go with the wind, half flap. Again, I'm loving half flap on this plane, guys. Oh, the wind's pushing it. Woo! Oh, that's another thing. With the wheels on yesterday, I was actually able to hover this. I didn't even think to try it. Are you zoomed in enough? Can you see it over there? Should I bring it over? Bring a nice hover. Hovering with floats on a bone stock plane with nothing added. I didn't adjust anything. I left everything stock. I didn't move any of the control arms. Look at this, I'm just on the half throttle. Wind's pushing it, <laughs> but she hovers. All right, what's my timer at? Minute and 14, we're gonna bring it in full land. Let's go full flap, see if I can touch down right in front of us. You almost have to be careful with how slow it goes. It's just like, look at this. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Hey. If you guys are here because of the intro, you want to know how I ended up here. Well, the truth is I landed with a minute left on my remote and I decided to go back up for some 9x16 TikTok and Instagram footage. While I was flying, I went inverted. I was coming around and I realized I lost power to the motor. So it was either glided to shore upside down or flip it last minute. So I flipped it last minute, ended up stalling. And yeah, my battery died. When I got it to shore, I had to change out the ESC because it got fried due to the water. But all in all, it's still okay, and I will be flying it again. So stay tuned for the next review, and this time I'm going to do it with wheels so I don't have That's to go deal. swimming. Appreciate you guys watching. Until next time. Peace out there.